Daddy, how come I don't have any YouTube subscribers? Well, son, it's because nobody cares about you. What's up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you are new here, my channel is all about mental health, overcoming mental illness, and a bunch of other subjects. But I thought I would do a video for my fellow YouTube creators out there. So real quick, no, I don't bully my son. Uh, but he recently started a YouTube channel and he was doing a bunch of Let's Play videos and wasn't getting any traction and he was wondering why. And one of the most valuable lessons that any of us can learn as YouTubers is nobody cares about you. So basically I taught this to my son, we started brainstorming and he just put up a video two days ago and you can see it right here. It's almost at a thousand views and it's because we remembered that nobody cares about you. Now, I get into a lot of neuroscience, so let's dive right in. I'm gonna introduce you to two of my good friends. Right here is a guy by the name of Dr. Judson Brewer, and over here is my friend, the posterior cingulate cortex. It's also known as the PCC. So, Dr. Judson Brewer is a mentor of mine, and he's also a big time meditator, and he's also a neuroscientist. So what Dr. Judson Brewer found when doing brain scans of people who meditate is that the posterior cingulate cortex, it's our self-referential part of the brain. It's a part of the brain that makes us think about us. This is part of the default mode network. So your default state of being is very selfish, very self-centered. A lot of what you do is because you want to find value out of it. You want something or a need. Some, maybe that's a monetary gain or maybe it's a feeling or emotion. So you might be building your YouTube channel to get the likes, get the views, get the subs, or get money off of this thing. And that's that part of the brain activating. If there was a selfish part of the brain, this is it. Now, I'm teaching you about this because once you understand that this is our default mode, you can then start crafting your videos to understand how your audience's brain works, and then you can become a little bit more successful on YouTube. So whenever creating a video, remember, nobody cares about you. People are searching YouTube, which is the second largest search engine in the world, only compared to Google, and people are searching for things that bring them value. For example, my son's video, he was doing a bunch of Let's Play videos, but with the new Star Wars Battlefront 2, we found that doing a how-to video on getting credits in the game, which is a form of currency in game, is something that people wanted, that gave them value. So even though he's only sitting at 19 subscribers, his views have gone through the roof. Now, real quick, once we provide even more value to the audience, then we'll get the subscribers and then they'll keep coming back. So before I give you a couple case study examples, I want you to do me a favor, just to make sure that you don't think I'm crazy at making this thing up. Go check your YouTube browser history. Check out what videos you have watched. Go through this list and ask yourself, why did I click on this video? What kind of value did it provide me? Were you trying to learn something? Were you trying to be entertained? Were you trying to escape for a little bit? That is because your default mode is looking for things that are going to bring you value. The way the brain works, that part of the brain, the PCC, is being triggered by different dopamine spurts from the limbic system. So whenever you find something that helps you escape or makes you laugh or helps you learn something, you're getting dopamine. So that is one of the reasons why this is in our default mode. Now, let's jump into a few case studies real quick. First, I will bring up my man, Roberto Blake. Roberto Blake, almost at 300,000 subscribers, he's been on the platform for a while, but he made a name for himself by doing nothing but providing value for people. He knew that his skill was in graphic design, video editing, social media marketing, other forms of marketing, so he created a bunch of how-to videos. He was constantly providing value to his audience, so they kept coming back. Now that he's reached a certain level, people come to him for just his creative thoughts or to hear his speaking engagements, which are also another way that he provides value to his audience. Next up is one of my girlfriend's favorite YouTubers, is this guy, Mr. Jeffree Star. For those of you who don't know who Jeffree Star is, dude is huge. He's a little bit weird, he's kind of funny, he's kind of cool, some people hate him and all that stuff, but anyways, 
He made a name for himself on the YouTube platform by providing value. He is very into makeup and now he has his own makeup lines and everything like that, but he also brings an entertainment value to his audience. Next is one of my personal favorites, which is Mr. Philip DeFranco. Philip DeFranco, or even the Young Turks, they provide value in the form of news. They are providing information. Information of what's going on in our country or in the world. That is the type of value that they are providing. Next, let's take a look at the man himself, Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat, his value came from doing vlogging in a whole new way that people hadn't seen before by making his quality top notch. And he started to gain momentum and being known as a person who was vlogging and setting the bar higher and higher and higher. Now, something about Casey Neistat and other YouTubers that you need to understand is that the path takes a lot longer when your value is entertainment. So let's look at Logan Paul and Jake Paul. So these guys, brothers, they started out on Vine. Vine was a place where people went purely for entertainment. One of my son's favorite things to watch on YouTube is just Vine compilations. They were providing entertainment value on the Vine platform. Now they provide it on YouTube. Here's where it gets tricky. You need to understand that your posterior cingulate cortex is working against you. See, a lot of us, we create these narratives about ourselves, which is also what comes from that part of the brain. We think we're funny, we think we're entertaining, we think this. At the end of the day, those things don't matter. What matters is, does your audience think that it is fun and entertaining? So, this is why it might take a lot longer. When YouTubers get to a certain level, they're able to kind of switch up their value proposition. Now they can kind of branch off into other things. Like my son, for example, he created a gaming YouTube channel. And when I was explaining this to him, he was like, but daddy, what about Jacksepticeye and Markiplier, right? He says they do try not to laugh challenges and other things just about their life. And I had to explain to him, it's because they gave people so much more value that they're now making people care about them. So once you get to a certain point, once you build your audience and build this strong foundation, now people are gonna care about you. Now, here at The Rewired Soul, go ahead and go through my video list if you would like to, and you'll see that I started removing myself from the thumbnails. It's because I was doing this and I was trying to build my name and a brand and make you recognize my face so you knew who it was, but then I started realizing what I teach people all the time. Nobody cares about me. Nobody cares about Chris. I need to provide value. If you check my channel, you'll see a lot of the videos I've done that have done the best are about other people. Or they're providing value in the form of mental health, how to overcome mental illness, addiction recovery, but I leave my face out of it. For the most part, there are a few where I put my face in there, but that is just because my audience is growing just a little bit, so some people, when they're scrolling through, they'll see my face pop up. For, so just remember that, check in with yourself and say, am I making this for me or am I making this for them? Until you hit a certain level, always remember, nobody cares about you. This is actually something that uh, I learned not only from Dr. Judson Brewer, but a copywriting book that I read. But to give you a little bit more help when it comes to marketing your own channel, I highly recommend you check out the book Purple Cow by Seth Godin. Seth Godin is a marketing genius and he has a ton of great books out there. My personal favorite is Tribes, but I will put links to both of those books down below if you wanna check them out. They're very short reads. I actually use uh, Audible to listen to them. Um, we're in California right now, so any of my regulars, you can see this isn't my normal room, but I love just listening to books while I'm driving. Whether they help me with my own mental health or they help me learn how to grow my YouTube channel. I've been a big fan of Gary Vee lately. But anyways, check out the book Purple Cow by Seth Godin and I also recommend you check out Tribes too but Purple Cow is going to help you explain how you can separate yourself from the pack and this is very good for anybody out there who is kind of a lifestyle uh, youtuber or a vlogger it'll teach you how to separate yourself from the pack but I mainly made this video for people trying to launch themselves on this platform so you can start getting out of that mindset understanding your audience's brain and just remembering that they are looking for things that are bringing them value. Okay, so go out there, 
create something that provides somebody else's value. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're just somebody watching this video who wants to work on their mental health, have more mental and emotional stability, hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to click or tap on one of those thumbnails because I have a ton of videos on this channel to help you out with your mental health. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.